I was sitting in my room playing my Xbox. My dad came in. Okay, so we're going to your grandfather's place now. I wasn't really happy because I wanted to keep playing my Xbox. And I didn't want to go to my grandfather's house in the first place for Thanksgiving. You see, I was never close to my grandfather. I always found him odd. He kept to himself and always would go outside and talk to himself. And would always keep an eye on the shed. He never wanted anyone going in the shed or near it. So we got into the car and headed there. When we got there, I noticed he was standing there doing nothing. Just looking at the shed we're never allowed in. My dad got out and went up to him. Hey dad, long time no see. He turned around and stared at my dad, before smiling and saying, Hey Dale. He looked at me and stopped smiling, giving me a dirty look. He then invited us inside. We went inside and sat at the table. My mom kept her coat on because my grandfather's place was cold. My grandfather went to check on the food and I turned to my dad. Dad, I don't have a good feeling about this. He just looked at me and said, Shut up. My grandfather came in with the food for Thanksgiving. He placed on the food and it looked a bit weird. I knew I had to eat or I would be considered rude and get yelled at by my dad. My grandfather sat there not eating anything. I looked at the potatoes and gravy. The gravy looked a little red. But the turkey, on the other hand, looked and smelled delicious. I ate it, and let me tell you, it was the best turkey I ever had. I could tell my parents loved it. After we finished eating, we noticed my grandfather didn't eat anything. Dad, are you alright? He looked at us, smiling. If you only knew. He got up and walked outside. We were all confused about what he meant by that, until he came back in with a shotgun. We were all scared at this point. You are them. He said laughing at the top of his lungs. Dad, just put the shotgun down. My grandfather looked at my dad, but instead of shooting him, he shot himself. He blew his brains all over the walls. My mom started screaming at the top of her lungs. My dad called 911, and when they got here, they found something that haunts me while I write this on my phone. In his shed, there were dead bodies, around six or more. Hard to tell because they were all chopped up. I realized why my grandfather never let us in there, and would always look at it. And we realized what my grandfather was feeding us for Thanksgiving. As of currently, I'm technically a cannibal. I feel sick as I write this, as we are currently in the hospital. The doctors are soon gonna tell us if we ate human meat. But I think we already know the answer to that.